Hey, what's going on everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And you know it's October and for some of us it's that spooky time of year. It's the Halloween season and some of us want to find out some spooky scary movies to watch. Well, you know your homegirl was here to help you out. Now I know when it comes to Scream Queen, who like to name Jamie Lee Curtis, Nev Campbell, or even Sir Michelle Geller. Now there's nothing wrong with any of these women, but it's one of my homegirls who has been running the horror game genre for over a decade now. And my name is January Flowers for a reason, and I wanna give some flowers to Megan Good. Oh yes, Megan Good's acting has been scaring us for years, but not in a bad way, in a good way. I'm gonna go down the list of horror movies that Megan Good has started, and make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end because I'm also gonna throw in some special bonus movies of hers as well. Yes, Megan Good, she's American actress. She's a Leo, and as far as I'm concerned, she's non-problematic. So let's go straight into it. The first time I came across Megan Good in a horror movie was the 2005 horror film Venom. Yes. Megan Good played Cece. Cece is the best friend to the lead female. Now, Cece is very interesting. She works as a cook at a local restaurant. Now CC is connected to this film in a big way because her grandmother is a voodoo priestess who's been keeping the town safe for some years now. But her grandmother fails to keep the town safe and someone comes back as a demonic zombie. CC is often seen as the voice of hope and truth amongst her group of friends. Once CC decides to step up to the plate, CC tries to conjure up a chant that will send this demonic force back to its graveyard. But with some of her friends not having her back, CC's throat is slashed and she's unable to finish her ritual. CC does not make it to the end of this film, leaving her friends to fight for themselves. Now, the next horror film I saw Megan Good in was 2008's One Miss Cole. Megan Good played Shelly. Shelly is a college student. We can see her studying her notebook. We see her sipping tea. She's obviously fond of nature because she's studying outside. She likes animals because she has a pet cat next to her. But to add a little depth to this character's one scene moment, we do see that Shelly does have prescription meds in front of her. So this kind of gives the illusion and the setup to a lot of death to Megan Good's character. She's also on a phone call with a character who we're going to meet later on. Now, Megan Good character is quickly taken away from us as she is as curious as a cat and goes over to her pond and she is eliminated. She's drug underwater. <laughs> now, now, the interesting thing about this um, role comparative to Venom, when Megan Good played Cece, she was more of an urban youth. She worked at a local diner, but Shelly, you can tell by her home and her surroundings that this was a more upscale character. Yes, Megan Good only delivered us one scene, but her character's death scene did lead up to the rest of the characters in the franchise coming together and beating the demon. Now, the next horror movie that I saw Megan Good in was Saw 5. Yeah, Saw 5. You know, it was a big franchise, and this was the fifth film in the series. Some people said that the fifth film did suffer with bad luck, but it doesn't take away from your homegirl getting that, yeah, series franchise check. Megan Good played Luba. Luba dressed professionally, and she worked at a grant agency. Luba was a part of the Saw program because she gave grant permits to a man who used the building to burn victims alive. Luba is down there because she said, I just didn't know, you know. I don't always know what goes on when people buy my property. Now, we also can tell from Polaroids found throughout the maze that Luba also suffers from a smoking addiction. Yes, Luba is a beautiful woman in appearance, but she does have a dark Past. We don't know how shaky her past goes. Luba makes it halfway through the journey, but not far enough. She puts the trust in another hand of a woman who literally stabs her in her back by stabbing her in her neck, tossing her body into a tub of water and electrocuting her until her body conjured up enough power to open up the door to the next stage of the maze. Yes, it was very sad because Luba came off as a girl who was willing to change her ways, but her being a pacifist in this game is what got her killed. 
All right, so the next horror film that we see Megan Good in is the 2009 Unborn. Now, the Unborn is still a cult classic for some and still new to some in the horror world. The Unborn is about a twin and she survives where her twin does not in the womb. So Megan Good plays best friend to the lead female. Megan Good is a tough, fashionable party girl who's always there for her friends. She even helps the lead female solve the mystery of her background, figuring out what's really going on with these demonic forces around her. Megan Good plays Romy. Now, as Romy gets closer and closer to solving this case for her friend, she comes to a quick demise. Yes, Romy is seen slashed and dashed dice plus slice by the local kid that she babysits. The fashionable diva couldn't outrun his blade as she was found by her friends later in the hallway slaughtered. It did bring tears to the eyes of her friends because all Romy had ever done was try to rid her of her demonic forces. In the next scene, Idris Elba is introduced to the film. So the Unborn is a decent one. It's kind of like a cool classic. Now Megan Good does take a break for a few years, but she comes back to the horror world with The Dead Diaries, 2014. She plays the character Alexis. Not only is this um, the first horror movie she actually survives, this is her first director's debut. Yes, Alexis is a battered woman who was finally had enough and values um, you know, herself more than the situation that she's in. So she rallies up her girls and tonight they cause havoc. All men must go. So this is just like a women take over the night type of thing. It is a short film that is currently on Vimeo. So if you guys go to Vimeo and type in The Dead Diaries Massacre, it will come up and you can see Megan Good's director's debut. Um, what did I think about it as a whole? I think it was cute. Um, it, I did think it was kind of sad that the first time she survived a horror was when she made one herself. It is more of a thriller, but you know, it is her director's debut. Now, before we leave this topic, I do want to throw in two thrillers for anyone who's not into horrors. Some of my followers are more into thrillers. Megan Good did play into in the two 2019 movie The Intruder. Yes, this is a home invasion movie. Megan Good played Annie. Annie is a married woman who's always hoping for the best, but her optimistic ways almost get her slaughtered. As this is a home invasion movie where, you know, a man wants his home back. Some people say it caught crosses racial bounds and racial lines because it is a couple of color dealing with a man of no color so you know a lot of people said that this film was dealing with race some say it was dealing with classism you know but this is a thriller making good start and now if you saw the intruder and you're saying january that's not my gig then i got something else for you death saved my life it is a lifetime movie starring making good as jade on the surface it seems jade has it all a successful marketing career an admired husband respect from her community but behind closed door her life is long her life is far from perfect jade takes death as a way to live oh yes if you guys have ever seen the 1990s maybe 80s film sleeping with the enemy starring julia roberts is basically a similar film to that where the character must pass on to actually start a new life again yes now just to throw this in there just because this is kind of scary for some people it's a monster movie that came out in 2020 called monster hunter megan good play did play the character of dash yes um because she was not in control of this script she was killed off camera um but we later see her corpse wrapped up in a cocoon so, you know, anyone who likes those type of movies. But you guys comment below. Let me know what you think. What do you think about these movies? Have you seen any of these movies by Megan Good? And also, why do you think the horror community shades our girl Meg? Megan has done just as much as the, the horror community as some of these other horror chicks. I want Megan's horror reward. She needs to get her horror reward, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Give this girl an award, even if you send it to her in the mail. This girl has contributed a lot to horror. This girl has died repeatedly on screen, honey. Okay?
job. But you guys, happy Halloween. And I'll see you guys in the next one.